Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back. Phase 5 is just around the corner. Um, one of the biggest patches that Classic WoW will ever see. Now, uh, my best guess is that it's going to be summer around midsummer released or even early summer. As I'm making this video right now, we should see an announcement in probably less than two weeks. Um, some of the important things I want to talk about today are some of the items that will be added in Phase 5. And uh, I know this video will be too short to be able to speak about all of them, but probably will make a part two. So today we're going to focus on uh, the ones that I think that are most important and that are easy to acquire by most people. So uh, starting off on the batch, I want to talk about um, the new, two new raids, AQ20 and AQ40. AQ20 is going to be a 20-man raid, of course, which is going to be on a three-day reset, just like Zulgrub. And AQ40 will be the major raid uh, for Phase 5. Now, in AQ20, uh, a new set of uh, spells for every class, three new spells for every class will be added to the game. And starting off uh, with the Priest, Priest will get three new heals, a uh, Greater Heal, uh, Prayer of Healing, and uh, Renew. Now, this is one of the, the classes that gets the biggest upgrades in terms of healing. Unfortunately, for Shadow Priests, uh, they will have the same old uh, spell ranks. That's just the way that it is. Moving on to the mage, mage will get like huge upgrade, fireball rank 12. And uh, keep in mind that mages in AQ40, they're switching to fire and this is gonna be huge. This will put mages back competing with the uh, melee, rogues and warriors. And it's gonna be just great. Uh, Frostbolt rank 11 and Tome of Arcane Missiles, which off the batch, even if they go in a uh, Blackwing Lair, they will be able to, to top to break their old parses and so on. Warlock of course gets a new rank of Shadow Bolt, uh, a Corruption and um, Immolate, which is quite great. Uh, most of the damage from both Mages and Warlocks come from their healer spells like uh, Frostbolt, Fireball and uh, Shadow Bolt. Both of the classes get like huge improvements. Moving on to Rogue, um, Backstab rank 9, which uh, will keep Dagger Rogues competing with Sword Rogues uh, in AQ40, if I can say that. Right now there's a debate if Dagger Rogues are better than Sword Rogues. Some people say Dagger Rogues, but with a new backstab definitely it will help them a lot, especially with a dagger that comes from a uh, cartoon. That will be a different story. They get a new rank of Faint, which uh, is pretty useless, and a new rank of Deadly Poison. However, I think uh, with Phase 5, I'm not exactly correct on this, on Upper Blackrock Spire, there will be a new rank of Eviscerate, Eviscerate rank 9, which might be dropping from the Assassin, so keep an eye out for that. I'm not entirely sure if it's Phase 6, but it might be Phase 5. So the backstab, uh, it's quite huge. Um, Druids will get, uh, of course, healing spells as well, uh, and a Starfire. So, uh, healing touch, rank 11, uh, rejuvenation, rank 11, and uh, Starfire, rank 7. Hunters will get uh, Serpent Sting, multi-shot in your rank, which is huge for their DPS. However, with AQ40, they do not have that many new pieces of gear that they, they can acquire. And most of the Hunters will keep their tier 2 set uh, as best in slot until next Ramas. A new multi-shot and a new aspect of the Hawk rank will provide them with a bit more damage uh, overall. Shamans get a um, new totem, Grace of Air and Strength of Earth totem and a new rank of Healing Wave rank 10. Uh, Paladins uh, get Blessing of Wisdom, which is huge. Another rank of Blessing of Might, which will benefit Alliance way more than uh, Horde. And a new rank of Holy Light. And moving on to the Warrior, Warrior will get the new rank of Battle Shout, which is gonna increase the attack power by roughly almost 50, I think. I think the untalented Battle Shout at the, that we have right now, it's about uh, 193 attack power. Let's go close to 240 or something. And with uh, the increased talents from it, it can go up to 270 maybe. Now keep in mind that this is not only for the Warrior, this is for the whole group, so it's a huge upgrade for the Warriors. Uh, revenge for tanking, for Warriors to build more threat, and of course Heroic Strike rank 9, which is gonna be also a huge improvement. Uh, about a 20 DPS uh, improvement. Now those books, I wanna talk about them. 
they're gonna be rare in the beginning so if you cannot manage to get themselves uh, from AQ20 I, I suggest doing it every three days uh, at the launch AQ20 try to get your hand hands on the books as fast as possible some people will try to sell them on the auction house however the price in the first two or three weeks in my based on uh, my experience from uh, unofficial servers in the past uh, there were uh, some of the rare ones between a thousand and two thousand gold so keep that in mind you want to get them as a drop not spend too much gold on them unless you have a lot of gold of course uh, moving on I want to talk about some of the enchants that will be added into the game so um, we're going to factions um, and let's go to Zandalar tribe first uh, at Zandalar tribe we get uh, the new oils for casters so casters get another boost on top of the spells uh, brilliant wizard oil which will um, increase spell power uh, by 36 and 1% crit I oh, hope you have some fire blooms and some large brilliant shards stocked up uh, this is gonna be great improvement in DPS for casters and for healers as well where they get the mana oil uh, a lot of mana per second back and healing up to 25 hope you have your purple lotus and your large brilliant shards saved up be careful when you purchase them from the auction house because some of them might have only one stack so basically when you're creating a, a brilliant wizard oil it has uh, five stacks but some people will be selling them on the auction house when they're left with one stack be careful on that i'm not sure if the auction house will show that but uh we'll have to wait and see um another important uh recipe is the 25 agility on uh, two handers which is gonna come great for hunters um it's gonna be available uh, at friendly reputation with the timber mouth hold moving on um fire mages like i said we, uh, are going to be a thing with aq40 a new recipe will be available called elixir of greater fire power um it's going to drop from uh, black rook depths as a rare drop and um it's gonna be huge um Recipe transmute elemental fire to uh, heart of fire to elemental fire. This recipe will be available uh, at friendly Torium Brotherhood, and what will happen every ten minutes will be able to transmute heart of fire to three elemental fires on a ten minute cooldown. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, the price of uh, elemental fire might tank, so you will be able to purchase more greater fire protection potions probably for your raids in Blackwing Lair and Molten Core and so on. However, uh, they're not really that required anymore. Just keep in mind, uh, if you have elemental fires now, they still go for five to six gold on my server. Maybe it's time to, to get rid of them if you can. Moving on, a couple of more um, things. Um, this is mostly for um, AQ20. I think I wanted to talk about this on the next video, but um, there's a new recipe for cooking called uh, Dirge Kicking Kimarok Chops, which is part of the Scepter quest. I think it's the part 3 or 4 of the quest where you're required to kill Broadlord Lasher. Now this is going to be an epic recipe and uh, they're going to be farming guides for this. Like people will want this food. It's 25 stamina, which is the best in slot uh, uh, food bath for tanks and not only for tanks for uh, resistance fights such as Princess Huhuran or Visidus as you want to get as much uh, resistance and stamina as possible for uh, these fights. Uh, this is uh, easy acquirable by most people because it's early on in the chain quest for the Scepter of the Shifting Sand. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of items that will be added into dungeons. Uh, first of all we we will have the tier 0 0.5 dungeon set, tier 0 0.5 release. Uh, for that you will need uh, to have 8 out of 8 um, dungeon 0 set, which means Shadowcraft or Valor or Magister or whatever it's for your class. You have to have 8 pieces and about roughly a thousand gold. We're gonna talk about this on a different video that I have prepared, which I talk, go more in detail about the quest line and about the uh, benefits of the sets and if it's worth to get them. But um, some of the items that will be added to the game, uh, after that, Blackrock Depths will have the most items. So Lord Rocker, which is a, a boss in Blackrock Depths, will have like a Mantle of Lost Hope, um, Idol of Ferocity. And uh, right now, 
idols will be added to the game. I mean idols, uh, librams and totems for shamans. So uh, every class will be able to wear one. However, not all of them are great. Right now we'll get more with uh, AQ40 and Xramas. Um, but most important, I want to talk about the bosses added with the tier 0 0.5 set. So in Black Depths, we're going to have a Teldran. Uh, he's going to drop a bow with 20 attack power. Um, a cloak with hit, which uh, can be great for people that um, level alts or just start right now. Lower uh, Black Rock Spire, we have um, an idol that will drop. Increases healing done by rejuvenation uh, by up to 50. Another offhand mace, which can be great for people that play maces. A mace spec um, as a warrior or as a, a rogue, most likely. Um, upper Black Spire, however, uh, a different story. Lord Val attack, which uh, brings a lot of items like Pendant of Celerity, 15 agility, 1% hit, uh, great neck. And of course, for, uh, for casters, we have a ring with hit and 16... Uh, spell power and of course uh, a staff that uh, has 30 spell power 1% hit stamina and intellect great for pre best slot if you if you want to get into raiding with an alt if you start right now playing a mage if you do aoe farming whatever you do those are great items to have of course a shield conian ages of the legion which has stamina and 20 spell power great for shamans and paladins and so on um, moving on to DM East, um, we got uh, the Libram of Hope that drops from uh, another tier 0.5 uh, summon boss. It uh, reduces the mana cost of your seal spells, spells by 20. Uh, of course, a couple of other items. A, um, a Totem of Rebirth, which uh, reduces the cooldown of your Ankh by 10 minutes. Uh, maybe if shamans now carry reagents with them, they will be able to use it earlier. Uh, one of the important sp uh, uh, items here on uh, DM East it's uh, the Huntsman Harpoon, which is a two-hand polearm with 35 agility, and with the new 25 agility enchant from Timbermouth Hold Hunters, uh, I think this might be the best in, in slot for them, as 35 with 25 agility will provide them with about uh, 120 range attack power and 1% crit. I'm not sure if it's uh, better than. Uh, whatever they're using right now with uh, Blade from uh, ZG, the main hand and dagger. However, uh, we must keep in mind that uh, probably hunters that play survival, if there are any out there, I used to play survival back in vanilla, might be a great upgrade for them. And if you don't have the daggers, this is a good starting point uh, for pre in slot. Moving on, um, I don't think we have any bosses in West and North, but we have, however, in Skulamats, Kormok will drop a ring with Critical Strike, Intellect and Stamina Mana per second. Uh, tank Ring. Nothing quite great, and we have the Strat Home boss, which uh, the last one. Um, a ring with 31 healing spells, 7 Stamina, 7 Intellect, 6 Spirit, and an offhand with Spell power hit and crit for casters, which is really, really great as uh, people are provided with so many opportunities to level up, uh, to gear up their alts or people that started late or re-rolled on another server that are able to catch up and so on. Uh, the tier 0.5, we're going to talk about them in the next patch. I want to move on to some of the new enchants from AQ40, because those are important too. If we go to Anki Raj, we can see the new enchants that drop there. Uh, first of all, we have Frost Power on Gloves, 20 Frost Power for Mages, of course. Uh, we have Agility on Gloves increased by 15, which is going to be the best in slot for Hunters, for um, Rogues and Warriors as well. I don't think we have a 15 Strength enchant, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that was not a thing in Vanilla, so I believe those will become... Uh, Best in slot for three classes. Enchant Cloak uh, Stealth. Increased Stealth. Um, fire Damage 20. Of course, you have uh, Shadow Damage 20. And uh, 30 Spell Power on Gloves for Priests, uh, which is huge. Keep in mind that people that will get those recipes first will charge a lot of gold for the crafting fee, anywhere probably from 
50 to 200 gold. If you want, you can be patient and wait until your guild gets one. Or um, And not only that, uh, the recipes will be expensive to make. Uh, they require nexus crystals, a lot of large brilliant shards, sometimes some essences of water or of or fire or of, or, um, of undead for different... Uh, and we get the cloak dodge uh, as well. Other things that I want to talk about uh, are the titanic leggings for... Um, if we go to blacksmithing we get uh, armor legs and plate and there we have the titanic leggings which is basically a better version of lionheart helm but for legs <laughs> uh, i i look forward to craft those for my uh warrior i'm saving right now Arc arcanite bars um they require um 12 arcanite bars uh enchanted torium bars 20 essence of earth 10 maybe you can buy them now while they're cheap and you do require two flasks of titans, which are quite expensive right now, I would say. On my server, they are about uh, five to 600 gold, only the flasks. So if you can put two aside for the pants, those are, will be best in slot all the way until Naxxramas, where a better pair of pants will, uh, will arise. However, if uh, you don't want to invest that much money as a warrior, um, new items will be added to the PvP vendors. And if you go looking into the PvP scene, you go to Warsong Gulch and you can see that uh, Sentinel Plates Leggings will be, will be available 28 Strength, 27 Stamina, 1% Heat, 1% Crit. Those are great. You don't really have to go for the Titanic Leggings unless you're in a guild that uh, only does speed runs and uh, tries to be the best. If you're in a casual guild, Sentinel Plate Legs will be great for you, although they provide additional 27 Stamina which can keep you alive. Of course, um, this is not only for uh, warriors, uh, there are different pair of pants for every class, uh, hunters, rogues, druids, something great to have if you have exalted with um, Warson Gulch. Another uh, thing added to the game will be to Alterac Valley, I think we're gonna get the Don Rodrigo's band which uh, has spell penetration. 20 spell penetration, 1 crit, 1 7, uh, one seven stamina, however this ring, <coughs> I think it might be great for mages, as spell penetration uh, decreases the magical resistance of your target by 20. And uh, for example, if you're farming with a mage ZG, if you have this ring, uh, you know that the crocs has about uh, 20 or 30 frost resistance, they will decrease that resistance and they will have less frost resistance, which means you will eventually miss less frost novas or con of colds and so on. So it's definitely useful in uh, some way or another, but in a, the same time uh, a bit outdated. More uh, resistance items come from probably Arati Basin, where we have a couple of trinkets that will come here. And these trinkets are, um, as soon as I can find them here, however, I cannot see them right now, but uh, we get for both Warson Gulch uh, trinkets with uh, decrease the magical resistance of your target. And for uh, Arathi Basin, we get a trinket that absorbs damage. I think this is it for today, guys. I think we covered a lot of items. Um, and this is just a, a small portion of the Phase 5 patch, which is huge. And... Uh, Next, next video we're going to talk about the tier 0.5 sets, which I think they're a great addition to the game. Not only because they're beautiful in the content they provide, being able to go around the world and uh, go do dungeons that you haven't done in a while and complete quests and have a feeling of completion. Although the set is good for a couple of classes, especially for alts and for new players. However, some classes benefit more than others that you will see in the next video, like rogues, maybe warriors, maybe the hybrid classes such as paladins, uh, shamans, druids and so on. Um, another thing this will bring uh, more aliveness to the game as people will be forced to run uh, old dungeons. You'll see groups for Upper Blackrock Spire, Strathholm, School Law, DM East every day popping on the global channel because people will want to complete their sets or people will want to fight the new bosses and so on. Maybe people want, will want to get the new items such as the idols, librams and uh, so on. I think this is it guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, until next time, 
stay frosty.